the better quality sprinkler. Sprinkler? The medium quality quality sprinkler. All right, welcome back, guys. It's me, Dave from the Kodo, back on Stardew Valley, quest, uh, preparing for multiplayer. It is the third day of summer, and it's raining. I have planted the melons plus two of each of the other crops that I need to finish that out. The tomato, hot pepper, and blueberry. I need to find the mayor's underwear. Uh, I did get some lucky stuff here. So I was able to fish up two of the fish I needed. Um, but the duck feather I was able to purchase from the gypsy. Which is amazing because now I don't have to upgrade the coop to that level to get so I can uh, so I don't have to spend ten thousand gold um, to get the the duck level in the coop. Uh, it's already done, which is like I said, amazing. So now I can spend that on on the um, the regular barn try and get that and I've all I also spent 2,000 gold to get the uh, the double pack back backpack I needed it I was out if I'm out gathering stuff I get the three different qualities of everything I forage and it's just a mess I'm gonna try and get all of the foraging stuff for summer right away plus now when I'm out I can get these uh, the worms when before I would just tend to ignore them. But now I have the backpack space. That creepy guy. Still not good enough of a fisherman for him yet. Or whatever. I'm not 100% sure what he does. Uh, the first two episodes had some weird sound issues. It wasn't picking up basically any of the game. Uh, hopefully I fix that in this episode. Won't know until I play back. I did some tests, but it, we'll see. Anything to eat in your garbage? Nope. So the main focus here, uh, I have the apple trees going. The main focus here is going to be to get the chicken coop. Which I'm relatively close to having once I once those melons are sold I'll have enough to grab that and then I can grab a chicken and start working on getting that squared away uh, then it's gonna be buy and sell as much as possible to get the uh, let's switch these out because this one's worth more buy and sell as much as possible to get the barn. But let me skip ahead a couple of days here. Get out of this rainy weather. And uh, see, so here's the apple tree. Still got a little ways to go. But let me skip ahead a couple of days here and we'll, uh, we'll do some harvesting, hopefully. Be right back. Alright, well, I happen to just be out and get everything I need for the summer foraging bundle. It's only grape, spiceberry, and sweet pea. So I figured, why not stop? and put it in and get the seeds that will give me some more money. Nice. And there's my summer seeds. Um, for the animal bundle, I need a large milk, a large brown egg, a large white egg, uh, in either wool or large goat milk. I already have, well, I don't have the duck egg, so I need a duck egg, too. Crap. So I'll maybe buying that duck feather wasn't a good idea, because I need a duck egg as well. Huh. I'll have to figure this out. I 
have to go like full out on the barn to get the other ones or get lucky or get lucky tomorrow with the gypsy let's let's skip ahead right now and go see what the gypsy has <clears throat> hopefully we luck like a duck egg or wool or both would be clutch day five of summer year one Let's see, Friday, nothing's on TV, right? Let's see, fortune teller. And luck may not be on my side. Well, let's go down and check it out. See what happens. There's always Sunday. I still need that red cabbage as well, so that's something I need a little bit of luck on my side for as well. That's, uh... Probably the hardest item to get because it's purely based on luck, unless you wait until year two, which might end up happening, but. Artichoke, rhubarb, tulip, nautilus shell. I'll find that on the thing. A large white egg. I can get that easily, so it's not really a sweet deal there. Ah, nothing. I can get the large white egg easily. All right. We'll take a little break here. We'll get some money and get to the point where I'm building the coop. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Uh, done. It's like day 12. My my farming has gone up. So get the cheese press and the better quality sprinkler. Sprinkler. The medium quality quality sprinkler. Uh, one round of ah, oh, those aren't done yet. One round of the melons is done. We'll see if everything I get here is enough to get me the 4,000 I need for the chicken coop. And we can finish off this episode by putting an order in for that. And then I've got to do some massive, massive farming. I'm probably just going to spend every cent I have on um, getting melons. I think melons are the most profitable here. Getting melons and planting as many as possible. Uh, just so that I can hopefully by the end of summer have enough for the barn and possibly close to enough for the barn upgrade so I can go on to the level of getting the goats. <clears throat> well, we'll see. I did use the uh, fertilizer on the... Why does that keep happening? My guy just like walks forward instead of doing what I told him. So we'll see what happens here uh, when I turn these in. And it's Friday, so we're going to go take a look at the gypsy lady. Uh, let's leave this. So we need you, one of you, one of you. And I think that's everything I have so far. You have a melon? Yeah, melon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then the last one. Let's put this stuff in here to sell. A ton of stuff. Hopefully that, oh, that should push me to, to 4,000. Coal. All right. Um, I didn't re, I didn't look at the fortune to see what my luck was going to be today but hopefully it's high because i need need some luck with this gypsy lady all righty then puffer fish is meh gold bar could push me ahead the honey i feel like i can get the honey like I can make the thing to get the honey quick. Ah, man. 700 for the honey. Could save me some time not having to worry about it. I'm gonna get it. Alright, let me take a quick cut here. We'll be back to see how much money I got from all my trade-ins. Okay, look at that. 7,000. Holy cow. 
Amazing. All right, so I'm going to go grab the coop, get a couple of chickens going. It's raining, which is great. And uh, we'll get the chickens going next episode. I should have the chickens fully going and moving on to just doing a ton and ton of farming for the melons for more money to get the barn by the end of summer. So hopefully you're enjoying this series, getting ready for multiplayer Stardew Valley. Hit that like button if you're enjoying it. Leave a comment in the comment section if you want to see something different or you want to see me take a different path or a different game to play on the channel. But like always, guys, good luck and have fun.